in basic principles, we were able to reduce um, the size of the floater by on average 20%, but in up to 70% of the patients recruited uh, into the trial. So th this is a, um, a, a targeted, safe, tested micronutrient that I will make part of um, my supplement uh, usage uh, as I move through my years. The first time I created a video on Vitro Cap was back in 2020. I gave it a try on my own eye floaters right here on the channel for about three months. And to be honest, I didn't experience any real benefits. However, in this video, I'm going to share some of the reasons why I'm trying this newer formulation called Vitro Cap N and why you might want to do so as well. Hey and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Optometrist Martin Aguzzi and this channel is all about helping you to see better, see more comfortably and keeping your eyes precious. Now if you get value from these videos and want more, I'd be honoured if you would subscribe to the channel. And I think you'd love my free eye tips newsletter too, so do sign up using the link on the screen here or in the description box below. The clip you heard at the start of this video is from an industry roundtable discussion between uh, Professor Nolan and three respected UK, Irish and German eye care clinicians. Professor Nolan is a researcher that has led research trials into the effectiveness of vitro cap N in Ireland. Now I'm fully aware that many people have question marks over the now famous or infamous fly study for several reasons. And I have to say that um, if you go back to watching my first video playlist on vitro cap back in 2020, which I'll link on this page here, you'll find that I too had a few question marks on the product and certain aspects of the research as well. So what's different now? Well, firstly, all the research of the original study was done using the version of the vitro cap called vitro cap N, which despite my best efforts at the time was not available to buy. So I was left able to only get hold of the original vitro cap at the time. So presumably it was just still very new at the time and there just wasn't much um, availability of the product. Now fast forward a few years and the makers of vitro cap N now have distribution partners in more parts of the world, including the United Kingdom. And there's also been a greater uh, awareness push to UK optometrists in an attempt to demonstrate that uh, vitro cap N is a viable quality of life improvement option for some of these professionals eye floater patients. The key message is the 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 improvement in quality of of, of life that that subjective um, improvement that John was mentioning. I think that that's an important message. You can you can impact you can improve a person's quality of life by advising them to use uh, vitro caps. I think, I think that's, that's a big, big message. And this is precisely why I'm making this video. I had to know whether this version of vitro cap was going to be any different than the original version that I tried. Ultimately, I also wanted to know whether uh, I'd given a vitro cap a fair chance and whether my patients would benefit from using it themselves. Now, I did feel that the original fly study should really have been the basis for a much larger study before a product like Vitro Cap went into production. But in this roundtable discussion, uh, Vitro Retinal Surgeon Dr. Kircher had this to say about the study. Really in a wonderful situation now, having this very good study, uh, controlled study, uh, for the discussion with our patients. And we have had some other studies before, not controlled studies, but for others, and all were in the, about the same success rate, 70 to 80%. So this is interesting. And we have this in mind. So it's not just the effect of one study only, but uh, of a whole series of five studies in the whole. I think this gives us a very safe basis for our discussion with the patients. Now at this point, you might rightly be wondering how is Vitro Cap N supposed to even work? So firstly, it's claimed that the micronutrients being water soluble can access and work in the vitreous body to impact floaters. Now while the vitreous body is enclosed, it's believed that the aqueous humor, which is the fluid that does recycle, can allow micronutrients from the bloodstream to enter it and then diffuse through into the vitreous. It's also claimed that uh, the research findings indicate that the ingredients in vitro cap N collectively can work together to support the vitreous in the following ways. Firstly, L-lysine is said to be present to help disrupt glucose and free radicals that may cause superfine collagen fibrils which live in the vitreous from clumping together and causing eye floaters. Vitamin C is added as a powerful water-soluble antioxidant to further neutralize 
any of the unstable free radicals uh, that may be present in the vitreous body. Grapeseed extract, which contains proanthocyanidines, appears to be intended to help slow down the further degeneration and formation of floaters. And this is supposed to be achieved through the proanthocyanidines having antioxidant properties and the ability to make it harder for collagen and elastin fibers that um, exist in the vitreous to be degenerated or broken down uh, by enzymes such as uh, collagenase and elastase. The hope is that with long-term use of Vitrocap N that you experience less new floaters. Zinc is added to help reduce the degeneration of the vitreous body itself, presumably by protecting against free radical formation and reducing oxidative stress. It supposedly supports the healthy vitreous throughout life to allow it to do its job of supporting the health of the neurosensory retina. It makes perfect sense to me that the maintenance of, of the vitreous body throughout our life with best effort will, will allow it to deliver what the vitreous body is supposed to do, which is provide that support to our neurosensory retina. So is it even worth trying vitreous cap at all? And one of the most important considerations here is whether it's safe to use or whether it has significant side effects. In this respect, it appears to be a very safe product to consume based on it having simple and natural ingredients of supposedly high quality without any synthetic ingredients added into it. When we look at these micronutrients, I think their value is not in their individual activities, it's in the biological synergy effects that they can provide. Um, and, it, you know, there has been a lot of work done by um, Abiga Vision um, to make sure that they source um, formulation ingredients for the formulation that are highest standard, that are stable and that are of quality. And, um, you know, this is something very important to us in, in Waterford when we conduct research or if we put ourselves forward like we're doing now, saying to a doctor with respect, we think this is useful for your patients because it's only useful if it's of quality and if the micronutrients that are claimed on the label are present. And a big vision, the company that are responsible for distributing this, take that very seriously too. And that's why we're very, very comfortable, um, you know, collaborating and supporting with this type of education. So it appears to be very safe, which for me makes it worth trying if you can afford it and have large floaters that aren't from a posterior vitreous detachment. Now, I personally don't think it's a super cheap product at a price of around about 19 pounds for 30 tablets, but relative to other options and other things that you could spend 19 pounds on each month, then it's still very affordable. Although as they suggest, you should be expecting to use VitroCap for at least six months before seeing any notable results. That means you have to invest at least 120 pounds before you can expect any noticeable results. But I'm sure in that time frame, if you do see results, then you're gonna feel that it's gonna be worth it. And also you'll want to carry on using the product. You have a very easy experiment every time a patient uh, makes the decision following the information you give them to try this if they so want to. Because if it doesn't work, they'll stop doing it. And But what we're seeing is that's absolutely not the case. The people in the trial that were on it have stayed on it. And the people that have tried it, you know, by by now having a recommendation from the, the clinic have, have stayed on it. Patients having used uh, VitroCup once uh, for, let's say, one month or three months, uh, two years later, restart again on their own. And I have seen them on the controls. So uh, this is quite a good indicator that for the patients, it's becoming a routine um, to use this uh, in several cycles um, and having an interval without any therapy when they are free. And effectively, uh, this is effective for the patients. And this is a very good proof uh, that we can really see something and the patient has a benefit. Now, while I'm certainly not offering any guarantees about this product, and this is not a sponsored video in any way, and I have no affiliations with any of the people involved in making this product, I do know that many floater sufferers do long for the day that uh, we can have a non-invasive and guaranteed treatment for vitreous eye floaters. I do think that while we wait for that day, it's important to encourage the very few people doing eye floater research or coming up with products like this 
rather than being negative and overly uh, negative or critical about the work that they're doing. Constructive criticism is always important, of course, so that the genuine teams out there know that there is active interest in the right solution. And also this serves as encouragement for uh, new teams that might feel um, justified investing time and resources and energy into new research and new products. I know that well-known researchers like Professor Nolan are actively looking for uh, answers to questions like why Virtual Cap N helps some people and not others in order to feed back to the manufacturers or explore new research areas uh, around uh, treatments. We absolutely need to be cautious when it comes to new products uh, that come to market paying attention to safety and to who's behind these products and how transparent their work is. I know that I certainly still have questions about VitruCap N's claims, but I do know that a lot of people now take the supplement and its safety record appears to be uh, perfectly fine. That's why um, I'll be trying it for the next six months of my Vitrus eye floaters. And I'll of course be reporting back and letting you know if there's any um, change or any problems with this Vitruocap Cap N formulation. Hopefully Vitro Cap N is an improvement and gives us some kind of positive feedback to be able to share. Now, I know some of you guys have tried Vitro Cap before. Let me know in the comment section below whether you've tried the original one or whether you've tried Vitro Cap N. Let me know if it's helped, whether it's made things worse or whether it's done nothing for you. Uh, let me know if you even think any of this kind of stuff works or whether you think the only treatment for floaters is going to be invasive treatments like a vitrectomy. Now, if you've not watched any of my previous Vitro Cap videos, I'm going to link to that on this page right now or check out the description box below for a link to that playlist. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you've got value from this video and any other videos on this channel as well. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Um, one morning and came, because I like to play tennis, I came back and I was explaining to my wife, Jane, that really, really didn't enjoy that game. I had these floaters and she said, well, you must take your own medicine then. <laughs> so I started. In my case, they went away to the point that they're almost uh, totally gone now. So. I have stayed on them um, for a full year and I'm interested, you know, because we say, will people stay on them? I won't come off them because they were, I disliked it so much. I would hate that to happen again. So I just take them every day because they're, you know, the micronutrients are not just, and we didn't discuss it today and nor should we, because we won't have time, but they're not just probably helping what's going on in the vitreous, you know, they're working probably, so this is a, um, a a targeted, safe, tested micronutrient that I will make part of um, my supplement uh, usage uh, as I move through my years.